In this video, I'm gonna show you 10 things that you probably didn't know about Discord. delete or reply to a message since those options aren't over here you're gonna right click and click delete or you're gonna right click and click reply but there's actually a faster way to do that if you hover over the message and you hold shift you'll notice over here on the right you get a lot of new options that pop up here you can instantly reply by holding shift so instead of having to right click and then click reply you can instantly do it there or when you want to delete something instead of deleting it and it having a pop-up for you you can hold shift delete and it'll automatically delete it without popping up a pop-up for you did you know that you can actually mention voice channels just like you can mention text channels like this? To do this, you're going to need to enable developer mode. Come into your user settings, go down to advanced, make sure at the top developer mode is enabled, and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do a pound sign, but you're also going to add in an exclamation point, and then you should see all a list of your voice channels pop up. Simply select the one you want, press enter, and it's going to do the same thing it does with the text channel. What's cool about this is if you click on it, it's going to automatically join you into the voice channel. Just like the text channel will automatically take you to the text channel. Discord actually has a ton of key binds that lets you do things really quickly that you might have not known about. For example, you can press control E to automatically bring up the emoji keyboard. You can press control F to automatically take you up to the search bar to search things. You can also hit control alt in the right arrow key, and that's going to take you to your last direct message. There's a ton of these key combos. So if you want to bring up an entire list of them all, press control slash, and that'll bring up the entire list for you to look at. And fun fact about this, there's actually a dance dance revolution Easter egg up here. If you guys want to check out all of the Easter eggs that Discord has, I actually have a video I'll put down in the description for you guys. When you're reacting to messages, if you want to put multiple reactions, you're going to have to come in and click one, go back, then click another, go back, and then click another. But what if I told you there's a way to add a ton at once? When you have the add reaction board up, instead of just clicking on an emoji, hold shift and then click them, and you'll notice it'll add the reaction and it won't take away the reaction board this way you can add in a ton of emojis all at once and super quickly there's also another really easy way to add reactions without even going into that reaction board you can also add in reactions without even having to open up that keyboard simply type in a plus sign and then do a colon and type in whatever reaction that you want to use simply type in a plus sign and then do a colon type in whatever emoji it is that you want click it and it'll automatically add that as a reaction to the last message that was sent in the server. One of the perks that Discord offers with Discord Nitro is the ability to change the four digit tag after your username. But there's actually a way that you can change it for free without Nitro. To do this, come into your user settings, go to the account tab, and then you're gonna wanna edit your username. Now, you're not gonna be able to pick exactly what four digit tag you want, but you can randomize it to whatever you want to get rid of the one you currently have. To do this, simply change your user username to match whatever your four digit tag currently is. So in this case, I'm going to do 4318 and I'm going to type in my password and then I'm going to press enter or done. And you're going to notice, well, I guess you can't do it in unlimited times back to back. I did it one time before this just to test it. And uh, yeah, you notice I can no longer uh, do it again because I'm apparently doing it too fast. But this shows you that it does work. You just apparently you can only do it once every so often. So, so take that for what it's worth. There's actually a way that you can send invisible messages that contain no content in them. Simply do two asterisk symbols, do a space, and then do two more asterisk symbols. You'll notice they get a little light right there. Press enter and it's going to send a blank message with nothing in it. By default, whenever you send in an emoticon, like a smiley face with a colon parentheses in Discord and you send it, it's going to change it to the actual emoji. But there's actually a way to disable this. To do this, simply come into your user settings, go down to text and images. Under the emoji category, you're gonna see automatically convert emoticons in your messages to emojis. All you have to do is turn this off. And then if you come back into the text channel again and you type in the same thing, instead of sending it as an emoji, it's now going to send it as a normal text. For this next one, I actually have an entire video on, so if you want a full in-depth tutorial on how to set it up, definitely check that out. But there's actually a way that you can completely customize the look and theme of Discord to get it to not look so plain. And that's done with a third-party plugin called Better Discord. After you watch my video and you learn how to install it, you're gonna come into your user settings and you're gonna go to themes, 
and you can download tons of different themes from their website to completely change the look of Discord and it's really cool and really nice. This theme I'm using really brightens up the colors and makes Discord pop a lot more. Last but not least, if your server is a community server, you actually have access to a lot of things you might not know about, one of those being server insights. If you pull up your actual server insights page, you'll actually get a full in-depth uh, analytic page on everything related to your server as far as the performance of it. It's actually really cool and offers a lot of statistics that you can look at and see how your server is performing week over week if you're trying to grow it. You can see how many people are using certain channels every week, how many people are using certain voice channels, all sorts of different stuff, where people are located, what platform they're using your server on. It's really cool. And that was 10 things that you might have not known about inside Discord. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you drop a like to share the video with others and consider subscribing to check out all my future Discord content. And if you want, feel free to join my server. I'll have that linked down in the description. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and thank you for watching. Peace.